For nearly five decades, Voyager 1 has drifted through the darkness beyond our solar system, a silent messenger carrying humanity's hopes into the void. But now, something has changed. In March, Voyager 1 began transmitting corrupted data. At first, NASA thought it was just aging hardware, glitches from a machine launched in 1977. But then, something happened that no one expected. A quantum computer, Majorana 1, decoded the signal. What looked like random noise turned out to be a structured mathematical message, a message we were never supposed to find. And if the patterns it reveals are correct, this might be the first intelligent response from deep space, not sent to Earth, but through Voyager itself. Let's break down what scientists just uncovered and why it might change the future of humanity forever. In early 2024, NASA engineers noticed something strange. Voyager 1's telemetry data suddenly became unreadable. The system sent back noise, garbled strings, no pattern, total chaos. Every known decoding method failed, but the signals kept coming, growing stronger and more frequent. Initial theories ranged from cosmic interference to simple hardware degradation, until one researcher proposed something radical. What if this isn't random? What if it's encoded? Enter the Majorana 1 quantum chip. Unlike classical computers, Majorana 1 could process billions of possible relationships simultaneously. And when it ran Voyager's corrupted signal through its system, it uncovered something staggering. Order, precision, repetition. And at the heart of it, a repeating 127-bit mathematical sequence. The moment the quantum chip revealed structure, everything changed. What looked like static revealed geometric formations, mathematical constants, and visual patterns that defied random generation. Prime numbers, ratios, spirals, even symbols embedded in a 3D structure, possibly a language or something even more complex. Some constants were familiar, like Planck's constant or the fine structure constant, but others were slightly different hinting at a modified version of physics beyond what we understand. This wasn't a malfunction. Voyager was sending information not in its programming, using complexity far beyond its capabilities. And most chillingly, it referenced Voyager's own golden record, as if responding to what we sent out into the stars nearly 50 years ago. Scientists now face a cosmic mystery, and three competing explanations. One, external interception. Something or someone is intercepting Voyager's signal and injecting a message, using Voyager as a relay. The signal's consistency suggests non-interference with Voyager's systems, but intentional use of its channel. Two, a dormant program activated. Could Voyager have carried a hidden message all along, dormant until triggered by entering interstellar space? Some data resembles early NASA code, but the complexity goes far beyond 1970s technology. Third contact. The most controversial theory, Voyager 1 has encountered an intelligence, biological, technological, or something else, that has learned to speak through our own machines. Regardless of the answer, one thing is certain. This message didn't come from us. The discovery doesn't just rewrite Voyager's story. It redefines how we search for extraterrestrial intelligence. SETI spent decades scanning the stars for directed radio waves. But what if aliens never broadcasted toward Earth? What if they waited for us to reach out first? With Majorana 1's processing power, NASA and international agencies are now reprocessing past mission data, including from New Horizons, Cassini, Galileo, even the James Webb Telescope, searching for patterns we never had the power to see. The implications stretch beyond astronomy, into quantum physics, cosmology, and the philosophy of our place in the universe. As soon as the findings were verified by independent labs in Europe and Japan, panic turned to obsession. Astrophysicists, cryptographers, and linguists formed emergency coalitions to study the decoded patterns. The UN's Office for Outer Space Affairs even held a closed-door meeting to determine whether this could qualify as the first instance of intelligent contact. And for the first time since Voyager launched in 1977, 
international cooperation reignited. What began as an American mission had just become a message to the world, and everyone, from NASA to the ESA to China's CNSA, now wants access to the full decoded stream. But the signal isn't behaving consistently. It pulses, pauses, and shifts, as if it's waiting for something. A growing number of researchers believe that the message is not just a broadcast, it's a question. Subtle modulations in the timing, structure, and repetition suggest the message might follow a call and response format, a dialogue protocol. But how do you answer a signal you didn't expect, using a device not designed to send? Engineers are now working on quantum-enhanced return signals, embedding mathematical structures into photons, to speak back in the same language. If successful, it would mark the first intentional reply to a non-human intelligence. The Majorana 1 chip is already being used to simulate possible replies, crafting responses that maintain the symmetry and compression of the original signal. But the question remains, what are we talking to? Majorana 1 is no longer just a quantum processor. It has become a cosmic interpreter, decoding signals that no classical system could recognize. Researchers now refer to it as the Rosetta chip, because it's doing for deep space communication what the Rosetta Stone did for ancient languages. With its unique topological qubit design, it avoids the noise and decoherence problems of older quantum systems. That's what made it possible to recognize deep order logic in chaotic data, not just from Voyager, but potentially from cosmic background radiation and dark energy fluctuations. Majorana 1 may become the lens through which we finally hear the universe speak. One of the most disturbing theories to emerge is this. What if this signal was always there? What if humanity has been receiving structured data for decades, but lacked the tools to see it? That would mean Voyager didn't receive a message. It simply passed through a region of space that is always broadcasting, a part of the universe encoded with intelligent structure. This flips the SETI equation. We've been looking for others, when in fact, the message may be embedded in the structure of reality itself. The Majorana 1 chip is not revealing something new. It's removing the blindfold. Using triangulation models based on the timing and trajectory of Voyager 1's movements, astrophysicists have attempted to trace the spatial origin of the decoded signal. The result? A region located far beyond the heliopause, in an area not mapped by any current telescope. A void completely dark, without stars, without known objects. But now, not silent. Some suggest the signal may be coming from a quantum anomaly, a region of space where time, entropy, and causality behave differently. Others believe it might be a naturally intelligent structure, something that doesn't need planets, stars, or biology to think. Regardless of its true nature, one conclusion is being whispered by top researchers behind closed doors. We've made contact with something that exists outside our definitions of life, space, and time, and it chose Voyager as the medium. News of the signal has not been made fully public, yet. But leaks, speculation, and fragments of the decoded patterns are already circulating through forums, encrypted servers, and private science communities. And the reaction is explosive. Some call it proof of a cosmic intelligence, others claim it's a simulation artifact, and a growing minority believe the message wasn't for us, but about us. Psychologists are warning of a coming wave of existential crises, religious reinterpretations, and mass anxiety. Because if this is real, if Voyager 1 received a message not from a planet or civilization, but from the fabric of the universe itself, then everything we know about our place in reality is wrong. And the most terrifying part? This may only be the first message. For decades, Voyager 1 sailed through the stars in silence. We thought it was alone, forgotten, a relic drifting through the void. But now we know, it was listening. The Majorana 1 chip didn't just decode a signal, it uncovered a truth woven into the fabric of space itself. 
A truth that wasn't waiting to be discovered, but waiting to be understood. This wasn't a transmission. It was a revelation. A whisper from the deep structure of the cosmos, mathematical, intelligent, and eerily self-aware. And perhaps the most chilling realization isn't that someone sent a message to us, but that they've been watching us long before we knew how to look back. So what happens now? Do we answer? Do we dare continue decoding? Or do we step back, knowing that the universe just responded, not with words, but with something far more precise, a code? Let us know in the comments. Is this the beginning of a conversation across dimensions? Or the first sign that we've been heard by something far beyond our comprehension? Subscribe and turn on notifications, because Voyager 1 may have just opened a door that cannot be closed.